Come to you live with a quick DIY one for all video and in today's video I have a Dell battery module and um, this battery module is for an E6400 laptop but it applies to any Dell laptop and um, the reason why I have this module on the table right now is because it will no longer take a charge or and um, it's no longer it's no longer recognized by Windows as well. So um, it was installed in a Dell laptop, and I got a message saying that no battery is installed. So using my curious mind, upon my investigation, um, I've taken the battery apart, and lo and behold, the batteries. And this is the charging board right here, and. What I've discovered is that one pair of these batteries is actually bad, okay? So these batteries should actually measure two volts each. Um, looking at the ratings on the battery cover, it says 11.1 volts, but um, these batteries are actually 12 volts, okay? So I took my voltmeter, <coughs> And I checked the voltage across each module. I'm just going to do that right now to see what I have here. So looking at this one right here, let me just adjust the voltmeter. Put it in battery. I wish I could get this inside here. Hopefully you can see that over there. But let me just check the first um, pair of batteries. Okay, and that says 3.9 volts, which is good. Um, each of these should be four volts okay two volts um each okay so it should be four volts and four volts um per module okay so here we go um the next module let me check the voltage so you notice that um there's a zero voltage reading um on the voltmeter so this is actually the bad module Okay, this module is actually bad. All right, so I'm gonna check the other module. This one reads 3.96 volts. So that's about four volts. So this module is good. So the reason why the laptop wasn't taking a charge is because this module, the center module right here was actually bad, okay? And you know, um, um, the laptop was expecting, or the control board was expecting to receive 12 volts, but instead it was only getting 8 volts. So, as a result, um, it told the laptop that hey, this battery module is actually bad. And as a result, the battery module did not take a charge. So, I've actually got four good batteries here that I could actually use and repurpose in my solar application. And these two are bad, so no use to me right now. But that's how you can actually repurpose um, these batteries from a Dell battery module. Um, not because the battery module is not charging, don't assume that all the batteries are actually bad. It could just be a set of batteries or even one battery um, in the whole module that is actually bad. So a good example of um, you know the power of DIY and um, what you can do if you just um, have, you know, um, the, the, the willpower to take things apart. So here I go, I have um, eight volts right here that I could actually use for something, you know, something useful. So I'm gonna come to you live, guys, a quick day of one for all. And just looking at this um, battery module right here, this is where you'd actually connect the batteries. And um, you see the, the plus, the positive battery, um, the positive, positive terminal goes here, and the negative terminal goes there. And um, so, yeah, that's how it works. So, so I just want to show you guys that. And in case you're having a similar problem, um, you, of course, you could probably go out and get some additional batteries somewhere. And but, and that base module is about 19 bucks brand new. It's just, it's best just to replace the entire module. I wouldn't advise trying to um, go out and buy batteries for for this module to fix it, but you know, just replace the entire module. But at any rate, you could take it apart and get some batteries to use 
in your other um, applications and I'm sure you could find this useful. Um, putting these together right here I could use these uh, with a, a step down converter to charge a cell phone or something like that. So just an idea for you guys out there who are willing to tinker and that's why that's what DIY projects is all about. Um, you've just been willing to tinker and take things apart and um, find um, a use for them. Anthony, coming to you live, guys, with a quick DIY 1-4 video. Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll catch you in the next video.